So this is the left side. Uh, you can see here, this is the aorta, descending thoracic aorta. And I want you to see that the, uh, the esophagus here comes to lie in the front of the aorta, in the lower part of the thorax. This is the esophagus. See, it's a muscular tube. These are, uh, these are muscle fibers, longitudinal muscle fibers in the esophagus. Uh, now, one, some of the branches from the uh, aorta, this is a small, tiny branch. You can see that it goes to the uh, hilum of the lung. It's a bronchial artery, in fact, from the descending aorta. And there are a lot of the smaller esophageal and mediastinal branches, in addition to the posterior intercostal arteries of the lower nine intercostal spaces. Also, you can see the sympathetic trunk. This is the sympathetic trunk here. And in places, it is beaded by ganglia, like this ganglion. Here, there is another enlargement. You can see there is another ganglion. Also, you can see here the superior, left superior intercostal vein, this one. This is the left superior intercostal vein. It drains the second, third, and even fourth posterior intercostal arteries on the left side, but it doesn't go to the azygous system of veins. Mm. It may communicate, but usually it drains into the left brachiocephalic. This is the left brachiocephalic vein. And you can see here that this vein, this left superior intercostal, is sandwiched between two nerves. Mm -hmm. This nerve, which is the phrenic, and the other nerve is the vagus. See, on the right side, the azygous vein is very clear. Mm -hmm. Here, this is the azygous, and this is the arch of the azygous vein. This is the superior intercostal vein on the right side. It drains into the azygous. It doesn't go into the brachiocephalic like on the left side. And again, you can see the sympathetic trunk, which is beaded by the ganglia. Now, again, you can see this is the esophagus. And on the side of the esophagus, or on the front of the esophagus, there are a lot of fibers, nerve fibers. This is a plexus. Partly it is formed by the vagus and partly formed by sympathetic fibers. These vagal nerve fibers will join from the left side and will later on they will form a vagal trunk, anterior and posterior vagal trunk. Behind the right side of the esophagus, you can have a glimpse of a duct here. It's very thin and I can move it a little because I am afraid that it will be destroyed because it's a very thin structure. This is the thoracic duct. It is behind the right side of the esophagus. We are here, we are at the level below the sternal angle. So it is on the right side. If we go on the left, it will go to the left side only in the superior mediastine. Now from this sympathetic trunk, you can clearly see that there are some nerve fibers arising from the trunk, like this one and this one, uniting together. And these are splanchnic nerves. They are joined together. They are arise from the medial side of the sympathetic trunk. Mm -hmm. And of course, this will be the greater splanchnic nerve. Mm -hmm. There are, there's the uh, lower, uh, uh, lesser and the least splanchnic, but this is clearly, it is the greater splanchnic nerve. Mm -hmm. uh, here is the esophagus. See, it is a muscular tube with elongated muscle fibers. And note that on the surface of the esophagus, there are a lot of nerves, a nerve plexus. This is the esophageal nerve plexus. It is a sympathetic and parasympathetic plexus. Here is the uh, uh, descending aorta, and that is the azygous vein and the arch of the uh, azygous uh, the arch of the azygous. Superior intercostal vein on the right side, draining into the arch of the azygous. Directly. Directly. This is a posterior intercostal vein, draining into the azygous, and this is a posterior intercostal artery, a branch of the descending thoracic aorta. You can see the splanchnic nerve. This is a th thoracic splanchnic. Characteristically, it arises from the medial side of the sympathetic trunk branches from the medial side of the sympathetic trunk and you notice here that the <laughs> trunk is beaded by the ganglia and you can see again that for example at this location note the proximity of the trunk to the apex of the of the lung that's why the tumors at the apex of the lung can compress the sympathetic trunk in fact okay and they might also compress the uh, um, the lower trunk of the brachial plexus 
uh, affecting, causing uh, ulnar nerve injury.